Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I feel like if I try to beat those two levels, it's just gonna be an entire episode of me killing myself. So I'm gonna try, I forget what the challenge mode stuff is, so I'm just gonna do that. Let's be the girl. Uh, we'll start with beginner, I guess. Um, I guess I wanted to talk about the book that I'm reading more. It's called Hero with a Thousand Faces, Joseph Gamble. Um, I'm not sure how much more I want to talk about it because I was watching some episodes I did. I thought, I didn't think it was very interesting. I guess I'm not, I'm not for having very interesting takeaways from it, I guess. I don't know. It's an interesting book, I'm just not really talking about it in an interesting way. Um, I do like how the book is broken up. How he, in the beginning he tells you like all the stages of a story. There's like the call to adventure and then there's a the meeting with the goddess, whatever, blah blah blah. And then the book kind of takes you sequentially through the different stages, and it kind of gives you examples in mythology. Um, the examples he's given so far, they're kind of hard to follow, like exactly how they relate to what he's talking about, but um, obviously they relate some way. I finally got to the part where, well, he the least interesting part was um, the supernatural aid in mythology. There's a, oops. There's a part of the story where the hero is helped by supernatural aid. I didn't really think it was very interesting, but he said the supernatural aid is a personification of his destiny. That's why, I mentioned this before, like that's why people like this book because the, that's a very interesting way to put it. And then he gives examples. Um, I was thinking about maybe streaming today, but I don't know if I can. It's it's a lot. I've been talking a lot already. It would, it would have been nice to do like a Valentine's Day stream and be like, and make like a, a dumb sarcastic tweet about like, um, I'm streaming like it's not because I'm lonely like I, I wanted to do this <laughs> um, but I don't know if I'm gonna be I'll definitely do it tomorrow but today will be tough I feel tired I did um I do I don't know if I mentioned this today but I do still eat um, chocolate <laughs> to try to give me some energy doesn't really work but I still do it um, the so when I before I started reading this book I, I had this idea of crossing thresholds in my head and I thought that was the most interesting part of stories like when a character crosses a threshold it means like they're making a decision and it means it changes things which is kind of true he explains it a little bit differently though um I, it's kind of cool he brought up this idea when a character crosses a threshold there's something called a threshold guardian um and beyond the threshold god guardian is a, is the zone of magnified power. <laughs> that sounds pretty cool. Um, it basically it's the point where oh got it. The character enters the unknown world. Like character lives in his world. He knows. He's comfortable 
and he crosses a threshold into an unknown world where he's not comfortable, where he faces darkness and challenges, um, and he learns new powers, new control over, and then, and then I guess I, I guess eventually he brings those powers back to his old life, and he's changed. Um, Uh. In mythology, I guess the idea is like when the character comes back, he's coming back to humanity and he's kind of like bringing, he's going on this quest and he's learning these powers and then he's bringing them back to us, back to hu humanity when he comes back. Um... Uh. There's this idea, he brought he brought up a story of the Buddha who, there's this myth about the Buddha who fights an ogre, which is kind of weird. You don't really think about Buddhas and ogre, ogres together, but um, he fights this ogre um, with, and he comes to him with five weapons, which are his five senses, I guess. So touch, smell, whatever, sight. And he fights them with his five senses. And then the, the ogre is like, you're really fearless. You'll you'll fight me even though like I'm as tall as a building. You, you'll still fight me. Why is that? Like, I've, I've, I've fought so many other men and they've always been so afraid of me. And the Buddha says, that's because I have a lightning bolt in my chest. <laughs> and if you eat me, you'll eat the lightning bolt and die. And um, the lightning bolt in Buddhism symbolizes knowledge, which is the sixth sense, they say. Um, so that mythology is meant to be a story that teaches us about our humanity like we have this we shouldn't be afraid because we have this knowledge and we if we live our lives with this sixth sense and this thunderbolt in our chest we can be fearless that's what the story's trying to say i guess <clears throat> whoa 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 i need more speed i think i have to avoid these things oh I feel like I've done this level already, but it wasn't ever this hard. I need, ah, I can't do this. Um, so the Threshold Guardians, uh, beyond, the, beyond the Guardians are the Zone of Magnified Power. Did I say that already? The hero is always cautious as he enters. Um, so the Threshold Guardians, um, the example he gave was like a police officer. They guard the law. They guard the old way. To get to the new world, you have to get past these Threshold Guardians. Um, you have to break the law, I guess. To make new laws, <coughs> you have to break the old ones. Um. They are the watchers of the established bounds. Um, and I guess the whole point of this book is like, it's good for, I mentioned this before, like it's good for humanity to evolve and, and there always needs to be new stuff. We need to keep changing. We need to keep evolving. Um, we take the old with us and we make something new out of it. But there's always, at the point where you go from old to new, <clears throat> there's always going to be a threshold guardian saying, let's keep the old ways. We can't change them. Um, and that's where the hero says, we have to. If we want to keep being human and we want to keep, uh, we want to keep our humanity, we have to change. Um, otherwise, we're 
just monkeys, I guess. <laughs> Protector of the old ways must be bested to gain the power of the new world, either in death or in life. So I guess... What? So yeah, the hero obviously... I mean, most of the time, the hero dies. But as long as he's brought us the new... As long as he's faced the the old world, and or the new world, and he's brought back, like, new knowledge or new powers to us, it's, um... He's done what he's supposed to, I guess. <laughs> he's... Ah. He's been a hero, and he's... He's had a story. <laughs> um, it's always better when the hero dies, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's nice when the hero dies, I guess it, it shows you that, like, whatever he was doing was so important. It was more important than living. Um, it, it, adds, it adds weight to what he did, because he gave his life to do it. So it must have been important. Um, because you can only give your life for one thing. Um, so I guess that's it for today. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do another episode. I gotta open my window, it's so hot in here. <laughs> um, hopefully that was interesting. I guess I'll, maybe I'll keep trying to talk about the book. I mean, if somebody's watching and they think it's not interesting and they, they're like complaining, like, maybe don't talk about that next time. I won't talk about it. Um, I've, I've, I think I've, I have almost like 200 episodes. I must. Oh yeah, I'm almost at a year. <clears throat> The year anniversary of uploading my first episode was in March. Maybe I should celebrate that somehow. I don't know really how. <clears throat> I thought about maybe doing like a, just a, a regular video with no gameplay and just talking about like how, how I'm doing and, and if I like doing this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. It's so hot in here. I can't think straight. Losing my mind. <laughs> okay, I guess I should end there. Hopefully that was fun to watch some Super Monkey Ball. Next week I'll play Zelda, and then the week after that I'll think of something else. Um, I thought Uncharted 4 might be fun, but I forgot that I actually just rented that game. I never bought it. But this was a good game to play. I can always come back to it, but I'm going to be distracted by the harder levels because I don't know how to beat them. <laughs> and they get pretty hard, I think. Um, hope you have a good day. And three, two, one. Okay, see you tomorrow.